Hello, everybody. Thank you all so, so much for being here. My name is Sibel Rasim. I will be your facilitator for this evening. Welcome to the Carolinas Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admission Officers Virtual College Fair. It is powered by StriveScan, and I'm here to help you all out this evening. Have basically an amazing, amazing time, because guess what? We have some awesome universities and colleges here to tell you a little bit about themselves. So please take out a piece of paper, a notepad, open up some notes in your phone, and get ready to have a good time. We have about 45 minutes on the clock. But before we get started, I just want to make sure everything works uh, efficiently and we know exactly what to do in this session. So just a couple housekeeping items here for you before we get started. First and foremost, we absolutely encourage questions. Please ask those questions. We are all here for you as an attendee to ask those questions. So please ask them. But how are you going to ask them? Well, all you got to do is just click on that Q&A button down in your Zoom toolbar and type in your questions to the presenters at any time. I stress at any time, please do not wait until the last minute because as we all know, time flies when you're having a good time. So please make sure that you're asking those questions at any point in time and not at the last minute. Also, I ask that if you are asking a question, please make sure you put the institution's name within your question so we all know who the question goes to. Uh, quick fun fact also too, that although you cannot interact back and forth with our presenters through the chat, if you see a notification pop up in the chat, that's probably because a presenter put their contact information or some fun uh, application links or something else for you to check out. So go ahead and check out that chat as well. Your camera and microphone are turned off. The panelists cannot see or hear you. So you are muted and that video is turned off. That is why it is super important for you, you to use that Q&A function. Also sign up for more sessions. This is one out of many, many college presentations offered. So you're more than welcome to register or sign up for the sessions for the next time slots as well. Last but certainly not least, Listen, maybe mom missed out on tonight, or maybe you want a, a friend to come with you to one of these institutions and they're kind of like checking out these schools too. Or maybe you just want to relive the fun with us. Well, guess what? You can do that because all of these sessions are being recorded. So a recording will be available at strivescan.com backslash Carolinas. So please go ahead and check that out if you'd like to relive the fun. Now, with that said, I'd love to get started with our first institution up for this evening. We have Fort Valley State University. Hello, everybody. My name is Jemaya Cox, and I am the Regional Enrollment Coordinator for Fort Valley State University. Um, welcome to our great university. So for over 125 years, Fort Valley State University has served as the launch pad to success for talented students from up all across the world. Now, we do like to say that Fort Valley State University is the best of both worlds. And what we mean by that is that Fort Valley State University is really able to combine that personal attention and family feel of a small private college with also the resources and research that you do find at uh, small, uh, at large public universities. So for example, last year, our student enrollment was uh, 3,000 students. So students, what does that mean for you? It means that our high school, our classroom sizes model what your high school classroom sizes look like right now. So there's about 20 to 25 students per class, and you're able to get that one on one attention and support in the classroom while you are um, in the class reaching your goals. Now, though we are a small university, we do have the second largest campus in the state of Georgia. So that means that our academic facilities, our residence halls, our research spaces, and our athletic venues mirror those of much larger universities. And for for example, our basketball arena is the largest in middle Georgia. It seats 5,000 people. Now you did hear me correctly. We are at the heart of Georgia in Fort Valley, GA. We are in a college rural town, but our students do appreciate it because it really does allow you to transition from high school to college more smoothly. And it allows you to bond with your fellow peers, your faculty and administrators. Now, though we are in that college rural town, we are still close enough to some of your major cities. We're about 15 minutes from Warner Robins, 25 minutes from Macon, two hours from Atlanta and Valdosta, and about an hour and a half from Columbus, Georgia. Now just check out some of our majors here that we have listed. Definitely let me know if we have your major. Um, if, I don't, if you don't see your major, ask me in the chat box and I'll be sure to let you know if we offer that degree at Fort Valley State University. Now we do have programs out there for our accelerated achievers. We have the only four year accredited program for vet tech, veterinary and technology in the state of Georgia. 
We also offer prep programs for your MCATs and other graduate school exams, such as your LSATs, your GREs, and your GMATs. Our iHelp program is an amazing program because this program really allows our students to give back to the surrounding Fort Valley and Peach County community. So if I have any students on the line that is interested in doing any community service, the iHelp program is going to become your best friend. CDUP is one of our most distinguished programs at Fort Valley State University. CDUP allows you to earn not just one, but two degrees. So yes, students, you're gonna be graduating two degrees hotter. You're gonna graduate with a bachelor's in STEM from Fort Valley State University in your first three years. And then once you graduate, we'll send you to one of our five partner schools. Now that's Georgia Tech, Penn State, the University of Arkansas, the University of Nevada at Las Vegas, and the University of Texas at Austin. You'll attend one of those five schools for another two to three years, and you'll graduate with another bachelor's degree in any STEM field of your choice. Now, the great thing is that students, we cover your full cost of attendance. So that's your tuition, your room and board, the fees, and you also get a study abroad stipend. Now, we do have other scholarships out there for our students. This includes our Presidential Excellence Scholarship, which is a $4,000 renewable scholarship per year, $1,000 book stipend per year, up to $1,000 for study abroad, and you also receive faculty and staff mentorship. Um, those requirements for that scholarship are also listed on the screen. We offer the 1890 Land Grant Scholarship. Now these are for our students that are interested in any of our degrees offered through our College of Agriculture, Family and Consumer Sciences, and Technology. So students, if you do have a 3.0 to a 3.5, you can receive $6,132 per academic year for the next four years. For those students that have above a 3.5, you'll receive $8,120 per academic year for the next four years. You'll also receive faculty and staff mentorship. You'll get research experience and a guaranteed job with the USDA once you graduate. And also again, those requirements are on the screen. Now check out our student apartments. When you come to Fort Valley State University students, know you will be living nice. Um, the, we offer student apartment suites. There are gonna be four people to an apartment, each person will have their own room. You'll share a bathroom with one other person. It comes with a kitchenette and living room area. Now with over 60 plus clubs and organizations on our campus students, there is so much for you to get involved in. We home the Blue Machine Marching Band, which is one of the top 10 HBCU marching bands in the nation. Our Student Government Association, Entrepreneurship Club, and so much more. We also home Division II athletic sports. We include football, men's and women's basketball, men's and women's cross country, men's and women's track and field, men's and women's tennis, softball, men's and women's volleyball, and co-ed cheer. Now to our admissions requirements. Now due to COVID-19, we are test optional for the admission season of 2021. Students, you must meet a minimum high school GPA of a 2.4, and we're gonna calculate your GPA from that standard CPC course guide that you see on the screen. Now, if you don't meet that requirement, then you must apply by our standard requirements, meaning a minimum GPA of a 2.25, but you must also submit to us either SAT or ACT scores. Applying to Fort Valley, very simple. You'll visit our website, fill out a free application. You'll have your high school counselor submit to us your transcript. And then if you don't meet our test optional requirements, we'll need for you to submit your official SAT and ACT scores. Once again, thank you so much. My name is Jemiah Cox. I am the Regional Enrollment Coordinator for Fort Valley State University, and I hope that you all have a great day. Thank you. Awesome, thank you so much. Got us started off with some amazing energy. Thank you so much, Fort Valley State University. If you have any questions for Fort Valley State University, please put it down in the Q&A. Just a quick reminder, uh, everyone in attendance tonight, that if you have questions, please make sure you're addressing the institution that the question is for so we all know who the question goes to. Next up, we have North Carolina a and State University. Good evening, everyone. My name is Nakia Bradford. I serve as the Senior Assistant Director of Freshman Admissions here at North Carolina a and State University. I bring you greeting on behalf of our Chancellor, Harold L. Martin Sr., as well as our Undergraduate Admissions Director, Jamia Tinney. We all wish you well, um, and thank you for carving time out of your evening um, to learn additional information about our institutions. Uh, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and start with our presentation, uh, beginning with some uh, campus history 
history about a and uh, We were founded in March 9th, 1891 as a land grant university and we shout that from the mountaintops. We were established to um, instruct our students in the disciplines such as horticulture, English, mathematics, you name it. As you know, we are a STEM focused institution. So for those of you who may not know that science, technology, engineering and mathematics, but we are not STEM exclusive and we'll come through our academic disciplines within the next slide. You may be wondering what is a doctoral research institution. Our Carnegie Research Classification is considered R2. Simply put, we are a high research activity institution. So if you're looking to attain that research experience, think of ANT, just to name an example in which our Aggies are conducting research in, it would include artificial intelligence. As you can see, we have over $60 million coming in within research funding. So we have um, the funds to um, pr pretty much um, populate your ideas. In 2019, we earned a few accolades. As you can see, we are the most affordable campus in the state of North Carolina. We are the nation's largest HBCU in the nation. So if I can get some Aggie pride chants um, at home, that'll be amazing. Um, just, just over 12,700 students, also encompassing our graduate students. So if you're also looking to attain a master's or a doctoral degree, think of a and Alongside of being the largest HBCU, we are the nation's number one public HBCU. Very proud of this accolade as there are about 101 HBCUs in the nation. And for those of you who may not know, um, an HBCU stands for Historically Black College or a University. We are located in Greensboro, North Carolina, which is considered the third largest city in the state. We are considered the gateway city into the Piedmont Triad, so not too far from High Point, Winston-Salem, um, and not too far from our capital, Raleigh or Charlotte, North Carolina, if you would like to switch your vibe up a little. We have seven different academic areas. And just to shout out our top majors, we got biology, psychology, management, um, mechanical engineering, um, as well as criminal justice. And of course, we have to shout out that we are the nation's number one producer in African Americans attaining their Bachelor of Science in engineering. Um, and mechanical engineering was our most popular discipline. Um, and just to name a few others, we do have automotive engineering and um, BMW and Rolls Royce does um, look to hire our students um, and many um, as as well as many other Fortune 500 com uh, companies. Um, as um, excuse me, um, although we are considered a medium sized institution, we still provide that intimate classroom structure and it's smaller um, nowadays. It's about 19 to 1, so you will definitely have the opportunity to know your professors, your professors will know you, and you'll know your counterparts. We'll always encourage our students to study in small groups within our multi level Blueford Library, and we have a state of the art student center that has our own games, uh, game center, um, Chick fil A, um, things of that nature. So you guys will have plenty to do here in Aggie Land. We are an NCAA. A Division I institution currently competing in the MEAC conference before we move to the Big South. 17 athletic teams spanned across both male and female sports. We do have over 140 organizations for our students, whether you would like to get um, active within Greek life. Uh, we have a national ranked um, um, band, the Blue and Gold Marching Machine, the go-to band for the Carolina Panthers, and uh, Honda Battle of the Band winners. Um, we also have our beautiful Golden Delights, if you would like to become a majorette, um, and we also have the Cold Steel Drumline. Um, campus traditions, we're known to have the greatest homecoming on earth. Um, past years, we've had, we'll have um, large concerts. We've had J. Cole, um, Black Youngster, things of that nature, so you will definitely have someone relevant when you come um, that you will um, be able to view and um, party with here on campus. Um, housing, uh, we are conducting um, off the hybrid platform. So we are not um, requiring our freshmen to stay on campus. However, if you wish to attain that experience, we do guarantee housing to all of our new Aggies. If you're thinking about coming, becoming an Aggie, uh, we do expect all of our students to meet our minimum course requirements. Feel free to take a picture of this slide so you have something to walk away with. Um, so the most frequently asked question, what is an advanced math? As long as the course um, has Algebra 2 serving as a prerequisite, you're good to go. Was Algebra 2 required for you to complete first before you can enroll in this quote unquote advanced math course. Um, and then we look for our students to be competitive with our average, which is a weighted GPA of a 3.6. How are you able to apply? You are able to apply on our Aggie admissions portal found on our home webpage, um, which is ncat.edu on that lower right hand corner there, as well as the common app if, you're um, if you are comfortable with that platform. We do have a $60 application fee. However, we do accept fee waivers from College Board, ACT and NACAC. When it comes to personal essays and recommendation letters, they are not required um, and they are also not reviewed during the admissions process. So go ahead and submit your transcript. We are test optional 
optional this year due to the pandemic for the year 2021. Um, so go ahead and get those items in. Um, if you are an underclassman, um, we are encouraging all of our students to go ahead and begin to prepare to take the test just in case the state of North Carolina um, flips back to requiring um, the test score, a standardized test score for admission. Um, our FAFSA um, deadline is December 1st, so make sure that you meet that priority deadline to maximize your opportunity for aid. And our scholarship opportunities will begin at a weighted GPA of a 3.5, and we have other opportunities as well once admitted. Thank you so much for your time. My name is Nakia Bradford. I am your admissions rep. Feel free to contact us on the, uh, with the information on the slide. As always, Aggie Pride. Awesome, thank you, thank you so much. Continuing that high energy, I love it. If you have any questions for North Carolina and C State University, please put it down in the Q&A at the bottom. Once again, continue to use the institution's name within your question so we all know who the question goes to. Next up we have Mainland Community College. Good evening, my name is Frank O'Hagan and it's my pleasure today to represent Mainland Community College and let you know a little bit about our institution. We're glad you are here and we're excited to tell you everything that is available for, for you with our institution. We have four different programs that are available for you, um, or I should say four different departments, arts and sciences, career technologies, health sciences, and workforce development. Let's start with the arts and sciences program. The Department of Arts and Sciences houses the transfer programs. Transfer programs are designed for MCC students who plan to take courses at the community college and transfer to a four-year college university for completion of their bachelor's degree. The Associate in Arts degree is a 60-credit-hour 60 60 general education program. This program is most commonly used for students planning to transfer. The Associate in Science degree is a 60-credit-hour general education program, but is geared towards students pursuing a career in a STEM-based field. This program requires more math and science courses for completion. And Mainland Community College participates in the state's comprehensive articulation agreement, which governs the, tra the transfer of credits between North Carolina community colleges and North Carolina public universities. The comprehensive articulation agreement provides a smooth transfer for students and enables them to transfer in with a junior status. In our Department of Career Technologies, we offer our students two-year programs in technical, hands-on, and service areas. Programs vary from criminal justice and human services to computer engineering, information technology, and business administration. With over 15 certificates, diplomas, and degree options, we are confident we'll, you will find a career that will be the right fit for you. The healthcare industry was front and center in 2020, and with our health sciences program, um, we would like to, if you would like to pursue a career in our health sciences uh, program, um, it is an all important and ever growing field and we have opportunities for you to do that here at Maine Community College. Train for a career in medical assisting, nursing or emergency medical services. You'll gain hands on experience with a highly experienced faculty. Workforce development and continuing education. Uh, sometimes you may want or need a quicker path to entering the workforce. Workforce development and continuing education allow students to pursue short-term credentialing programs so you can get to work faster. Programs vary in length, but most average around 16 weeks to completion. You can enter into the healthcare field with pharmacy technician, phlebotomy, or physical therapy aid. Use your hands in small engine repair or plumbing. Sell your way to success with real estate. There are many opportunities to train for a new career quicker than you ever thought possible. Uh, in our student services department, student services mission is to enhance the personal and professional development of students and to provide an environment that is supportive and inclusive. We will work with you from the moment you decide you're considering Mainland Community College to the moment you walk across the stage at your commencement ceremony. Student services staff will assist you with many steps involved in college education or college applications. You are assigned a success advisor when you apply to Mainland. You will work with this advisor throughout the admissions process. Even after registration, you are encouraged to contact your success advisor anytime you are facing challenges in your academic career. Our advisors will assist you in finding the help you need to be successful, whether it is tutoring, counseling, or referrals to outside agencies. Since we are not a large institution, we are able to personalize our meetings with our students. We develop a strong relationship with them. Uh, 
We develop a strong relationship with them that allows us to understand their needs and provide you with an intentional advising experience. Uh, it even helps us when writing recommendations for you for a job or university. We truly know who you are and, and it can highlight your strengths and your value to other organizations. We build relationships with our students to foster our culture of support and achievement. Student Services is your one-stop shop for all things related to success at Mailing Community College. With financial aid, um, in, considering an institution, in considering which institution will be the best fit for you, we understand that affordability and value are important to you and in investing in your future. We offer federal and state grants, scholarships, the federal work study program, and the North Carolina Child Care Assistant Programs. Our financial aid office works hard to ensure cost doesn't deter you from achieving the career of your dreams. On average, 86% of our students receive some sort of financial aid and over $1.7 million was awarded yearly. We are also more than a classroom. Uh, Mayland Community College is working on a number of projects through our foundation that will serve our communities for years to come. The Three Peaks Enrichment Center, formerly Pine Bridge, is located in downtown Spruce Pine. Construction is ongoing and has been completed in phases. The first phase will be finished this year and will include the new location for our cosmetology program. Three Peaks will also house the Resource Center for Entrepreneurs, assist those starting a new small business, and will be an event space to host uh, events of all sizes. We also offer the Earth to Sky Park, which is located in the old Energy Exchange in Yancey County. The ESP is already home to the Bear Dark Sky Observatory, and it is a future home for the Glenn and Carol Arthur Planetarium. It also has the Visitor Center, Conference Center, and Garden Trails for you to enjoy. Set to open this year, we'll have a 60 seat planetarium and we'll have a 36 projection dump and will become a multi-use destination for students, school children, local residents, and visitors for years to come. We also have the Bear Dark Sky Observatory that is designated an international dark sky site and has a SAM scope, a 34 inch telescope, which is the largest telescope in the Southeast available for public use. Mainland Community College is more than your local community college. We strive to offer you the absolute best in education, opportunity, individualized service, and excellence in all areas are our goals. We go beyond the classroom to offer you experiences that will enrich your life. At Mainland Community College, community is just the beginning. Awesome, thank you so much, Malin Community College. If you have any questions for them, please put it down in the Q&A at the bottom. Next up, we have Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. Oh, Embry-Riddle, I don't think we can hear you. No, I don't think we can hear you. I'm sorry. Uh, go ahead and check your microphone. Um, so when you go to the mute, right next to it, there's an arrow and go ahead and check out your microphone. See if it's working. Go ahead and test it out. No, sorry, can't hear you. Go ahead and click on that, um, that uh, arrow right next to the mute button. Okay, and then click on test speaker and microphone and go ahead and test both of them and see if your microphone works. I'm sorry, but everybody just give us just one minute. We'll figure out this technical difficulty and, and we'll keep on going. It's okay, no worries. Oh, go ahead, say something. Hello. Yep, you're good, all right. So sorry about that, everyone. I really do apologize. I'm not sure what happened there. It's okay, I'll start, I'll restart your time, go ahead. Okay, great. So hello, everyone. My name is Ludeen Lewis. I am the Regional Assistant Director of Admissions for Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. And so um, we'll just jump right in. Um, hope you guys can see my screen okay. When you guys uh, hear about Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, we do have three campuses here. And so we, are, we have our Florida campus in Daytona Beach, Florida, our Arizona campus in Prescott, Arizona, and our worldwide campus, which is our online campus. Students in North Carolina, 
might know about Embry-Riddle because we do have a campus in Greensboro through the worldwide campus. Our Florida campus is the largest of the two residential campuses. It does have about 7,000 undergraduate students, but we keep our classes really, really small. And I'll talk about that in a second. Um, for students who are interested in something like astronomy and astrophysics, you'd be really happy to know that we do have the largest research-based telescope on a college campus in the state of Florida, which makes it really exciting when you're looking at the stars or trying to see what's in those other galaxies and universes. One really unique thing about us is our location. We're only about five miles away from the beach and about an hour away from both Orlando and the Kennedy Space Center. You can see Kennedy Space Center launches from the Daytona Beach campus, which is a pretty cool perk. Um, and we do have students that get to work as, at Disney as Imagineers, um, which, are, which are the engineering interns there at Disney. The Arizona campus is about two hours north of Phoenix and about four hours south of the Grand Canyon. Students who are interested in being a professional pilot in the state of Arizona or elsewhere and want to go to the Arizona campus actually have the opportunity to both do fixed wing and do rotary. So if you want to fly helicopters or you want to fly regular planes, you can do that at Arizona. They do have the university's um, College of Security and Intelligence, which is the first and only college of its kind in the nation. And it also has one of my favorite places that we have the planetarium. It's humongous and I love it so much. Our worldwide campus is a online platform for students has about 18,000 students um, through the worldwide campus. It was founded uh, to be created for students to be able to take classes while they were on military bases, but since then um, has been able to offer uh, bachelor, master's, and PhDs to both civilian um, and uh, military service members. So going forward, I just want to talk a little bit about the tangible experiences that you get here at the university, especially on the residential side. At the Daytona Beach campus, we have about 27 um, students in our average classroom. Prescott has about 24 students. Like I said a little bit earlier, we have about 7,000 students at the Daytona Beach campus, and we have about 3,000 students at the Prescott campus. So even though our campus sizes are vastly different, our average class size is pretty small. And one thing about us, is that a lot of our classrooms are research-based and project-based. And so um, obviously we can't have 700 students trying to build a rocket when you're in the aerospace engineering astronautics track. Um, so it's gotta be really, really small for those hands-on experiences. Our placement rate is 94%, which means 94% of our students within one year of graduation are working or continuing education in their field. And we think that in their field distinction is pretty important because it means that what you were doing here at Embry-Riddle, it made sense in the industry, so you were able to get a job pretty quickly. Clubs and organizations, we have over 350 clubs and organizations. Do you want to let you know that the most popular club at the Daytona Beach campus is skydiving. Over at Prescott, we've got hang gliding, um, because why wouldn't we? Students who are interested in the arts do have the pet band. We've got the acapellas and the acapellas, so a lot of opportunities there, and then some um, things that are more academic based, and then fraternities and sororities on campus. A wider worldview is also something that you get here at the university. University. With athletics, we do like to talk about that we don't have a professional football team or we don't have a football team, but instead we do have a competitive flight team at both residential campuses. It is when we go head to head. At the Daytona Beach campus, we are NCAA Division II, basically everything but football and wrestling. We have a crew, we've got lacrosse, basketball, baseball, softball, and then over in Arizona, a smaller campus, um, but they do have wrestling and a brand new baseball team. Study abroad options are plenty at the university where students have the opportunity to do it within their degree program or just for culture. So students can do OLA engineering where you get to go to Spain and study engineering or just go to Ecuador because you want to experience the culture. We have every branch of ROTC at the Daytona Beach campus, only Army and Air Force um, over in Prescott. But one thing to know about us is outside of the Air Force Academy, we do um, offer the most commissioned um, pilots and officers to the actual Air Force, and we're pretty proud of that. And then Greek life, lots of opportunities here um, on campus, over, um, over 10 fraternities and sororities.
Here are some of our notable programs. Most people know us for our professional pilot program, Aeronautical Science or Aerospace Engineering, as we do have the number one program in the country. But Astronomy and Astrophysics, that Global Security and Intelligence Studies and our Forensics programs over at the Prescott campus, Logistics and Supply Chain Management Worldwide. And then one of my favorite programs, our Aerospace Physiology program, which is our pre-med program here at the university. Here's just a quick glimpse of everything that we offer before I talk really quickly about the application, which is very, very simple. So to start your future here at the university, you just go on our website, erau.edu slash apply. You select one campus and fill out the application. You use code DBPC to waive that application fee and you submit your high school transcripts. And that is essentially it. We don't require SAT or ACT scores. We've been a test optional university for over five years now. It's a yes or no question on the application. Submit two letters of recommendation. Submit your essay if you'd like to, a resume. We love reading them, but they're not required. And that really rounds out your application. That's all you need. If you have any questions, I'll put my contact information in the chat, but you can also reach out to each campus here. We'd love to help you. And uh, it's a great day to be an Eagle. Thanks. Awesome, thank you so much. If you have any questions for Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, please put it down in the Q&A at the bottom. Next up, we have Wilkes Community College. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Morgan Staley, and I'm the coordinator of recruiting at Wilkes Community College. We are located here in the foothills of North Carolina, um, just below the mountain of Boone. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and get started with the presentation. All right, so Wilkes Community College, just a little bit about us. So we are a public two-year school. We have open door admission, which means if you apply, you will get accepted. There are approximately 2,500 curriculum students along with 3,600 workforce and development students. We have campuses in Ashe, Allegheny, and Wilkes counties, all of which are in North Carolina. And we are accredited by the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools. Here are the different types of degrees that we have. First, we have college transfer degrees. Hey Morgan, so you can, I'm sorry yeah. to I'm sorry to uh, interrupt you here, but we cannot see your screen. We can't see your PowerPoint. Oh, can you not? I'm sorry. No, it's okay. What about now? Yes, you're good to go now. Perfect. Go Thank you. Sorry about that. But yeah, back to the different types of degrees that we have. So we have college transfer degrees. So you can come to Wilkes and get the first two years of a four-year bachelor's degree with us. We offer associate in arts, associate in science, and associate in engineering. And you also have the option to get a degree that prepares you for the workforce immediately. And that would be known as an associate in applied science. Those are typically our two-year degrees. And we also have programs in our workforce development and community education department. All right, moving right along. So our college transfer degrees, they are protected by the Comprehensive Articulation Agreement. So this facilitates the transfer of credits between North Carolina Community Colleges and the North Carolina University System. It applies only to the Associate in Arts, Associate in Science, and Associate in Engineering degrees. And it offers the opportunity for you to transfer as a full junior. They will accept all of your classes. But this does not guarantee admissions. Keep in mind, you would still have to apply to the university and you would still have to get um, accepted based on their admission criteria. So this is our associate in arts degree. So just some examples of a major that you could have. If you go on to the university, you would go on, you could major in business, criminal justice, psychology, sociology, just to name a few. For associate in science, same thing. You would go on to the university and you could major in biology, chemistry, uh, geology, math, meteorology, just as a few examples. And then associate in engineering, you would have the ability to transfer um, into some of the top engineering programs in the state. So East Carolina, North Carolina A&T, NC State, UNC Charlotte, and Western Carolina. Moving along to those associate and applied science degrees, the two-year degrees. So they prepare you for employment. So these are the ones in our business and public services technology division. Some examples are accounting, advertising, baking and pastry, culinary, business administration. We have various information technology programs as well as criminal justice and early childhood education. We have health programs as well, uh, nursing, dental, emergency medical science, human services, medical assisting, radiography, and respiratory therapy. Keep in mind the ones with a star listed beside of them are limited admission programs. Um, so you do have to apply and get accepted into those. We also have applied career technologies. Um, these are great for folks that wanna be hands-on. So just to name a few, animal science, architectural technology, building construction, diesel, welding, just a few right there. 
And again, our workforce development and community education programs, um, just a few that we have here, cosmetology, heating and air, certified production technician, real estate, phlebotomy. These are great for someone, say you wanna take a few classes and, and you wanna be done in a semester or two, that's a great option for you as well. We do have two plus programs. So some of our degrees, we have agreements in place with certain institutions here in North Carolina to where you can complete that two year um, degree and then have a skill set, and then you can transfer to a specific university. I recommend this for folks who know exactly what they wanna major in once they get to a university and they know exactly what school they want to do that at. Just a little bit about our tuition and fees. So if you were an in-state student, you were looking at about $1,300 a semester. Um, books are separate, of course. And then if you're out of state, you're looking at about uh, $4,000 a semester. We do have plenty of financial aid opportunities available for folks. We have grants, scholarships, work study, and veterans benefits. About 60% of our students do qualify for some version of the Pell Grant. So just keep that in mind. I encourage everyone to fill out that FAFSA. And then we have one blanket scholarship application. So you can complete the scholarship application and it actually puts you into the pot for all Wilkes Community College Foundation scholarships. Uh, college and career promise for the sake of time I'm going to skip through a little bit of that just because um, we're running out of time but you do have the opportunity as a high school student you can take some college classes through Wilkes Community College so if you do have any questions about that please reach out to me after this presentation I will also put my contact information here in the chat box um, but I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your evening and thank you so much for your time. Awesome, thank you so much. If you have any questions for Wilkes Community College, please put it down in the Q&A at the bottom. Next up we have Appalachian State University. Hey everybody, my name is Megan. I am an admission counselor here at Appalachian and I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. Let's get that maximized. Okay. Hey everyone, I'm so glad that you all are here today. Thanks for your time and I'm going to close this out. So we are located up here very close to the previous school that just presented Wilkes County Community College. We are up here in Boone, North Carolina, which is nestled in the Blue Ridge Mountains. We are considered a true college town, which means that we have that mixture of a smaller, more rural and intimate kind of community here, as well as an environment that is really school spirited. And we are definitely known for that here in the state. And if you're a sports fan, we have some pretty awesome opportunities for that that you may have heard of us before. And we'll touch on that in just a little bit. But here are some other things that I'm really proud of. We are consistently ranked as one of the best value colleges in the Southeast and you just get a really great education for the money here at Appalachian. We're really proud of the fact that we do everything we can to keep costs down for students. So let me know if you have any questions related to those kinds of things in the Q&A. If you're curious where we are located, just some more information about that and opportunities in our more unique mountain community up here in Boone, where the big A is, that is where we are located. And we aren't too far away from a lot of major areas. Our closest airport is in Greensboro. And we also have a pretty, I think, close distance to Charlotte, as well as some other locations. So if you have any friends that attend institutions institutions in those cities, that would be great for you to visit. But we always say that there's so much to do up here on the mountain. That's a common phrase. And as you can see, there are some images here on the right hand side of some activities that you might be able to partake in as a student. And everything is really seasonal up here in the summer. The weather is great and the temperature just does not exceed 80 degrees, which is really nice if you like, you know, to be in a cooler environment. But in the winter up here, we have skiing and snowboarding, and you can even take those as a class to satisfy your PE credit. And in the fall, when the leaves start to change, it's really beautiful here. There is a series of highways in the western part of the state here known as the Blue Ridge Parkway, and a lot of students like to go on hikes and things like that. And then, of course, in the warmer months, kayaking is a really fun activity. You can take fly fishing for a course as well. So if you love the outdoors and in the environment, environment, I think is a is a really awesome opportunity for students. So if, if that's your kind of thing, then this might be a good 
school to look into. Additionally, this is our word wall here. These are a series of words and phrases that people in our community have used to describe us here at Appalachian and some things on that particular image that I'm really proud of as well. So just to talk a little bit more about our student population, we are considered a medium-sized institution, and I think it's a great environment if you're looking for a school that's not too big or not too small. And these are some other statistics here in case you are interested at our academic profile. Here in the top left corner, this is our information for you if you're a junior in particular, this might be helpful for you. And if you are younger with us today, these can just be some grades that you shoot for or test scores that you shoot for. But the good news is here at App, we are definitely going to view your application holistically and take all factors into account when reviewing your application overall. 99% of students live on campus in their first year. And if you're interested more about campus life, Follow this little QR code, it will take you to our housing website and you can tour 20 of our different resident halls on campus. The best thing I think about Appalachian is our community here on campus and one of the biggest foundations of that is our connection with our professors and our majors here. We have over 150 different majors, so if you want to know if your particular major is one that we offer, definitely let me know in the Q&A box. And on top of all of those majors, we have a really amazing school of music that is nationally known and a honors college as well as a graduate school if you love apps so much that you plan to stay. One of, I know I I've said this before, but college has so many great experiences and one of the best things that you'll be able to do as a college student is get involved in clubs and organizations. And here at Appalachian, as you can see, we have so many opportunities and we kind of divide them into various areas, whether that be community service focused, intramural club, or varsity level sports, or maybe even Greek life, about 16% of our population participates in Greek life. Or if you're interested in a multicultural or international club, there is something for everyone here at App. We bring in a lot of musical acts here at our Schaefer Center for the Performing Arts, or maybe you're a singer or an orchestra player and you want to join one of those organizations for fun. Really, the opportunities I always say are endless. And I know I touched on this earlier, but one of the most iconic things about Appalachian is our Mountaineer pride. Our football team is usually nationally ranked and we just really evoke that spirit on game day. Recently, our basketball team also made it to the NCAA tournament but we lost in the first round and we won't talk about that. So great way to close out, but please visit our visit page if you want to check out more about the university and you can find that there. So thank you for your time and please let me know if you have any other questions. Awesome, thank you, thank you so, so much. My presenters, if you all can join me, that would be fantastic. Um, and go ahead and turn your videos on. We actually are out of time. I told you all, I, wa I, I warned everybody, my attendees included, you know, when uh, you are having a good time, time definitely flies. And I think it definitely flew. So uh, my, my panelists and my presenters, thank you all so, so much for being here. You kept the energy high and I super appreciate it. And I know our attendees do as well. Our attendees this evening, thank you so, so much for joining us. I know I learned a thing or two about these institutions and I hope you did as well. I hope you also took some notes. Now I know there are more questions in the q and I totally understand you wanna get those questions answered, but please make sure that you are following up with these uh, admissions counselors and officers after this. Uh, that is going to be super important for those questions to get answered. Unfortunately, we are out of time. So whatever questions uh, are in that Q&A, uh, we may miss out on, so I really do apologize for that. But with that said, before you head out really quickly, after you close out this window, a four question survey will appear. So go ahead and give us some feedback, my attendees. Thank you for that. Also sign up for more sessions. This is one out of many, many college presentations. There are two more sessions up for this evening and then actually more of these Carolina uh, sessions in a few weeks later on this spring. So go ahead and check those out. 
I know we had a few questions about, well, hey, am I going to be able to relive the fun this evening? Absolutely, you can. A recording will be available at strivescan.com backslash Carolinas. All sessions are being recorded, so please feel free to check those out. With that said, you all, thank you so, so much, and I hope you all have a great evening. Bye, everybody. Bye.